Hickok 45 here. We got our hands on some 22 ammo. You know how hard it is to find and how expensive it can be, so we don't want anybody to know we're shooting it. And we've got a suppressed 22 thanks to NC silencer, so let's shoot some quietly, okay? Oh, wait a minute, we better be careful what we shoot or it's not so quiet, right? <laughs> let's try that again, more quietly. Let's shoot something that won't be so noisy. Like a pot, maybe. Yeah, smoke a little pot quietly. <laughs> oh, he's getting out. Oh, oh, I'm wounded. <laughs> Pretty neat. I always get tickled when I have a suppressor. And I don't think I'll take this one off. It's integrated. It's integrally suppressed. Yes, does not come off. What else can we shoot quietly? That wasn't too quiet. Uh, neither was that. Let's try a two liter. Oh, look at him. Crazy. I know, a bowling pin. Let's go bowling. After our pot smoking. Whoop, bloop. <laughs> Where it's going. <laughs> Definitely not, unless that thing has a hole in it already. All right, let's try it. Go gong, hunting. Oh yeah, let's try the red plate. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> We're clear. Let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> Oh man, uh, first of all, we appreciate it. And this is, uh, this is a firearm you recognize, you just maybe don't have one that's uh, integrally suppressed like this. This is uh, done by uh, Coastal Gun Incorporated, it's a Passport 2. And it's a Ruger Mark II target, okay? It says right on it, Mark II target. Longer barrel, adjustable sights and everything. And uh, as I'm loading, I. I'm not going to use this opportunity to tell you everything about the, the Ruger history and all that, but just a little history. This part of the firearm should look kind of familiar to you. Uh, it is clear. Let's go ahead and uh, lock that back. It's kind of tricky there. Okay, we're clear, as you can see. Now, this part of the gun should look familiar, that pistol, okay? The Ruger, the classic Ruger Mark series. And uh, they started, I believe, in 49, 1949, making these things. It's just been hugely successful. And I think the, the first models went from 49 to, uh, gosh, 82. Yeah, 1982. And they, they called it the Mark One. I, I think some of them, and then they, some of them were the standard series or something, I don't know. But it's basically the Mark I series, the first version of it. And uh, then this is the Mark II which was made from 82 to about 2004, 2005. And then there's a Mark III. I think there's even a Mark IV. They're all very, very similar, okay? Uh, they all look alike. They're the, basically the same firearm, 22 long rifle, semi-automatic pistol, okay? And I had one. It was a Mark III or IV, beautiful. It must have been, if there's a Mark IV, it's probably the Mark IV because it was only, I guess it was just before we started doing videos. So it wasn't all that long ago. And it was a beauty. It was called the Mark IV Hunter or Mark III Hunter. And uh, stainless with a fluted long barrel, maybe not quite as long as this one. And it was gorgeous, beautiful grips and everything. And what turned me against it was the kind of the first time I had to, I took it apart and put it back together. And that's the big criticism of these firearms. They're wonderful firearms. They're, they're pretty reliable. They work uh, as well as, I guess, any semi-automatic 22 pistol. They all get dirty and they are gonna start hanging up on you because 22 ammo, rimfire ammo is just dirty. So it's, they all get to where they malfunction. It's just a matter of how soon it starts to happen. And uh, these are, uh, I think, as good as any in that regard. 
but uh so they're they're loved they're a beloved pistol no doubt about it there's i think there were like three million of these made the mark twos or something like that or maybe that's all the marks i don't know but millions and millions of them have been manufactured lots of happy people out there like you have one or more in your safe or in your closet right they're uh, very common and uh, popular, they're not all that expensive. Some of them are not cheap. That one I bought wasn't all that cheap, but oh, it was beautiful. But uh, I think partly because of uh, so many different models that have come out in recent years in, in all sorts of pistols, 22 and others, that it's become more obvious that how difficult these are to break down and put it back together, all right? We've all been getting spoiled in recent years by some of the incredible designs of firearms and you know how easy they are to field strip and clean and, and you know that sort of thing and so when we get a hold of one that's oh you got to do this and hold that and it's it, when it's really complicated it's a little bit more of a turn off maybe than it ought to be okay but i'm one of those those people one of those weird people i'm one of those those people who uh I kind of prefer my 22 to be a unique 22. Uh, now by that I mean, I, I was ready to really like this and I like the one I had it shot beautifully and this one's neat. Uh, I'm not as fond of taking a 1911 and making a 22 out of it. And I've talked about conversions and all that and putting 22 conversion on an AR, whatever it is. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that or on a Glock. I'm just not a big fan of it. If I want a 22, Give me a pistol that was designed to be a 22 and I'll plink with some 22. I'm not going to use it as a trainer for my 1911 combat training, you know, or my AR, any of that, because it's such a totally different recoil impulse feel, point of impact maybe, and all that kind of stuff. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, but uh, so I, I'd like a dedicated 22 long rifle pistol. I love my little model 41. The Ruger SR-22 is a cool little gun. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I got. Revolver 2 and 22. Uh, I'm fine. So if I want to shoot a 22, I, it's fine with me if it is a different design. It's not like a 9mm version of it or anything. Yeah. So, so I was ready to really like it, but it, they're just a little more difficult to break down and clean and put back together than I preferred. So I actually sold it. I really did. I'm sorry to confess, but they are nifty firearms. And they're especially cool to suppress right and as i understand a model just like this well it was the the mark ii i think uh, a a configuration wasn't necessarily done by this company was used by the navy seals and integrally suppressed uh, 22 like this okay of course everything has been used by the navy seals right it's a great marketing plan you know uh, my hatchet was used by the navy seals would you like to buy it you know no i, I think they did use something just 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 like this pretty much okay now and maybe they still do i don't know so uh what i know about the navy seals uh isn't a lot so let me put a magazine in here and try it again you notice i'm not wearing ears today at least ear muffs or ear plugs so this is pretty cool pretty cool and i gotta I guess release that there we go mark ii target model and it's time to smoke a pot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh there's a two liter. <laughs> he wanted to put on a show. Let's try another one. Yeah, you already can hear it slap into it. <laughs> That's one of the cool things about a suppressor. Interesting, okay. Oh, I see a 12 ounce. Let's see if I can zero in on that thing. Oh, might need some ammo. Uh, I'm not done a lot, uh, you know, a lot of precision experimentation with it, but I think the sights are about on. Okay, let's bear down so we can get that 12 ounce. There we go. And this one I couldn't hit before. Let's redeem me, redeem myself here. There we go. I feel better now. And there's Tide. All right. That's not a product placement. <laughs> okay. What else here? 
How about Mr. Cowboy? He's been neglected today. Yeah, we'll just put a little group on him. How's that? Just to see if it goes where it ought to. <laughs> and we got a cinder block over there. I think John has a GoPro mounted there close to it. I'll see if I can shoot his GoPro first. How's that? Uh, let's see if we can put a couple on that. Now this thing ought to get dirty fast, you know, with the suppress, the suppression, suppressor. Uh, all right. <laughs> April Fools, we forgot to turn on the GoPro. Again, it's pretty neat. <laughs> cool. Oh, we can't forget this guy. Oh, <laughs> and there's some cans. <laughs> click got the cans with the last round so anyway i thought you might enjoy seeing that uh again i wouldn't mind getting a uh like a first edition standard mark one whatever they prefer to to be called uh, in this firearm uh, the ruger 22 that came out in 49 i think they're pretty collectible actually the older they are but it's it's had a long run and uh, they're still being made and they're just uh, very very popular they have a great reputation uh, this one's especially cool because of that integrally uh, that integral suppressor how's that okay <laughs> so uh, pretty neat uh, plinking with a 22 is fun isn't it we just wish there was more 22 ammunition out there. So uh, I wasn't as quiet as I meant to be, but uh, hopefully uh, quiet enough that nobody knows I was shooting 22. So uh, pretty cool. We appreciate uh, help from uh, from Buds and from uh, Federal and everybody that helps us, SDI. Uh, we appreciate everybody's assistance. Mostly we appreciate you all coming by uh, to watch and uh, enjoy these fine firearms. Life is good. <laughs> oh, well, since I'm still here, let me take this moment to thank uh, SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute, for their support of the channel. Uh, we appreciate you know, their help. Uh, SDI is a place where you can get certified in uh, gunsmithing. You can even get an associate's degree in firearms technology and work in various areas of the firearms field. It might be appealing to you. They work a lot with veterans and uh, it's just a pretty cool place. So check out the link, uh, sdi.edu. Uh, the link is in uh, the description of most videos, almost all videos for the last six months or more. So, uh, so check that out. Also, while I have you, since I'm still here, uh, be sure to, to check the links in all the descriptions because, you know, we're on Full 30 now also with all the videos. So there's a link in the, in the descriptions to Full 30, as well as, of course, our sponsors, uh, SDI, BudsGunShop.com, uh, Federal Premium. So, all the good information is there, as well as uh, keep in mind that on Hickok 45 and Sun, we have uh, quite a few videos over there. John's doing the, the gun culture radio show over there. Check it out if you haven't done that yet. Our Facebook page, uh, the Hickok 45 Facebook, the uh, Hickok 45 and Sun Facebook page. That's where we try to stay in touch with you and uh, give you a little extra information. Even post pictures and uh, a little video occasionally, just, just whatever. Uh, mainly just a way to keep up with you all and provide some more information. You know, we're not really Facebookers, but it's a, it's a pretty good system for that, even though most of us are not in love with Facebook, right? <laughs> so check all that out. And you really had better check it out because I might just have to come to your house and have a chat with you if you don't. And I expect to have coffee and donuts ready when I get there.
Why?